With your Polar 4 connected and ready to go, let's look at operating the unit. Polar has four physical input channels. Each input has its own gain control, line instrument switch, and enhance switch. If you've inserted a quarter inch instrument cable from your guitar or any other instrument with a high impedance output, select instrument on the line instrument switch. If you've inserted a quarter inch cable from a device with line level output, such as a keyboard or studio hardware, select line. If you've inserted an XLR cable, Polar 4 will automatically detect and bypass the line instrument switch. With your input connected, you can turn up the gain control to increase the input gain of the preamp. The input LED meters on the front panel indicate the input level for each channel. The enhanced switch operates in one of two ways, depending on whether you've connected an instrument or microphone to the input channel. With an instrument connected, such as a guitar, and instrument selected, Turning on Enhance enables a unique analog circuit that mimics the input stage of classic valve guitar amplifiers. With a microphone connected, turning on Enhance enables a carefully designed, gentle, high shelf EQ that brings out the natural clarity in air from vocals, acoustic guitar, and more. Please note, whenever line is selected, the Enhance switch will be completely bypassed. Now that you know how to operate the Polar 4, let's look at how to record. With your Polar 4 connected to your computer, Open your door and make sure to select the Polar 4 as your interface in the door's audio settings. Create an audio track and select input 1 as your input source. This will record the signal from channel 1 on your Polar 4 interface. Select input 2 to record channel 2, input 3 to record channel 3, and input 4 to record channel 4. Make sure you have input monitoring enabled and your track armed to record. You can use the monitor level control or headphone level controls to independently adjust the volume for each output. The two headphone outputs located on the front panel of the Polar 4 correlate to the outputs on the rear panel. This means that the signal sent to outputs 1 and 2 will be heard from headphones 1, and the signal sent to outputs 3 and 4 will be heard out of headphones 2. For more information on signal routing, please see the Polar Control section of the user manual. Please note, some computers may not be able to supply sufficient bus power when using multiple inputs that require phantom power. If you experience power issues, please use the included 5 volt DC power supply. Now you're ready to record and play back using the Polar 4 interface. Mm -hmm.